The Bend Fire Department is implementing a new system to more effectively respond to the thousands of medical calls it answers every year. The result will be new EMTs and a faster response to your needs. Here in Bend, we have about 82% of our calls in the fire department are emergency medical service calls. And this uh, has put quite a demand on the service we're providing. Well, yes, I mean, the amount of calls that we have and the resources available, it's gotten to the point where it's, our resources are tapped out. Uh, we had to look at creative ways to come up with a way to handle the operations that we have. Here in Bend, we have about 8,000 emergency calls in the fire department each year, of which over 80% of that, or about 6,500, are emergency medical service calls. Well, right now we have two dedicated ambulances that are staffed with two full-time firefighter paramedics. But we're going to try something different. We're going to bring in a whole new group of employees in the Bend Fire Department. They're emergency medical technicians. They're going to oftentimes be part-time employees, but they're going to be responsible for going out with our fire department personnel and doing a lot of the routine transports, some of the basic life support transports that we do here in the city and also the rural fire district. The reason that we're doing this system right now is we frankly don't have the resources to sustain our future run volume increase. We can't keep replicating the model that we're using today and expect it to be sustainable into the future. So 911 dispatch, they take the call and they prioritize it and they dispatch the appropriate unit. Currently in our system today, every call gets two firefighter paramedics. The basic life support system is gonna allow us to basically put on two more ambulances for the cost of what it takes to run one paramedic ambulance. So here's one of our challenges. So we had a, I'll give you an example. We had a recent call out in the Tumalo area. The patient was clearly a non-acute patient, could have gone by a BLS unit, but we ended up transporting ALS halfway to the hospital. Cardiac arrest comes in in that district. Had we had a BLS ambulance at the time, we could have sent that patient with a BLS ambulance and the ALS ambulance would have been in Tumalo when the cardiac arrest came in and we would have had a better outcome. Well, this is gonna be a first for us, but we think that there's gonna be a tremendous amount of interest in the communities. We've got students, we've got uh, EMTs that work up at Mount Bachelor. We've got uh, so many people that are interested in emergency medicine and that has that basic level of certification. So what we want to do is advertise it. That's what we're going to do in February with the hope of getting a strong pool of, of uh, new employees uh, here in the fire department and go into service with this new system in uh, May. So by being able to tear some of those calls off and send a basic life support ambulance with two EMTs, we're going to get the proper resource to the call more of the time than currently. Well, they're going to come in already as an EMT basic, which is the, the first level of uh, emergency medicine. And so what we'll end up doing is, is training them to operate our equipment, to drive our vehicles, how our system works, and all of that. So that's going to take some time to get them brought up to speed as to how we operate. Well, what, what brings us to this day is a year of work with the Firefighters Association, with our operational uh, paramedics and firefighters, trying to come to a, a, a system design that will meet the needs of this community. Uh, we are excited about it. We think that response times are going to start to drop. We think we're going to stay in budget and uh, we're going to be doing something that's brand new in the fire service.